About a third of the United States is covered in forests. In places like Colorado, those forests are in danger. There's fire. Our wildfires are getting more frequent and larger. A devastating beetle infestation. Those trees are all dead. They don't have any branches anymore. They're just standing sticks. And global warming. There is hope, and it's found in an unlikely place. When I tell people that I work at a forest in Nebraska, they, they usually laugh, and they're like, Nebraska has a forest? Richard Gilbert is a man on a quest. He's a biological scientist who works here at the Charles Bessie Nursery in Halsey, Nebraska. It's the oldest federal tree nursery in the U.S. The nursery's main mission is to help preserve and repopulate national forests in the Rocky Mountain region. Without Bessie, they're not going to be able to have the supply of trees that they need for reforestation. If they have a catastrophe, we can be there to help them. What I love most about my job is really the change in season and the change in work that I do. I get to work in the seed bank, I get to work in the container part of this, and I get to work in the field. And I get to actually get my hands dirty. I don't just sit in an office and, and push paper. Richard's amazing. He really cares, and he's always trying to make it better. We turn the greenhouses on, you got little seedlings germinating. It, to me, it's spring. So my spring starts really early, uh, and it's extremely rewarding. He's very proud of his work. He's very proud of his trees. I love growing plants and helping them grow. I don't ever want to lose that, that contact with the plants. When they need them, we grow them and we get them produced in less than a year. All of the trees are produced in the greenhouses and then they are brought in here on tables. This Y is okay because it's above halfway and we have a central leader. We can pack 110 to 120,000 trees per belt per day. We are packing container trees for the San Juan National Forest. They don't get their moisture in the spring a lot of times, they get their summer monsoon seasons. That's when they want their seedlings delivered. Richard remembers all of this information and wants the feedback and wants to know how they did. At our best, we might get 70%, 80% survival. Without Bessie, they're not going to be able to have the supply of trees that they need for reforestation. Plants are just amazing, and there are so many of them out there, and I will never know how to grow every single one. If it's a very, very interesting plant, I'll try to produce it and grow it at the house. And if you guys drive by my house over there, you'll understand. You'll see all the different plants that I have over there.